sisters in Jesus Christ. Hearty welcome to the Passionist YouTube channel for the weekly gospel reflections. We are on the 22nd Sunday of the ordinary time. For last two three weeks we have been reading and reflecting about the Eucharistic banquet and the discourse regarding that. And after a long Eucharistic discourse evangelist mark is leading us to the oppositions that came out in the life of jesus all through the gospels we hear and see that the pharisees and the scribes are the so called custodians of the tradition and law and in today's gospel they come near to jesus and confront him regarding the cleanliness and ritual purity it is not merely a confrontation regarding cleanliness but more than that it's about the tradition and the customs of the jewish religion and culture according to the jewish religion before sacrificing they were supposed to cleanse their body we also read this in the book of exodus chapter 30 verse 19 wherein aaron and his sons were instructed to wash their body before going for sacrifice later on this law became common to all then it was done even before eating it was not in torah or prescribed by god through moses but it was a strong tradition that the jewish people had jesus is confronting the jewish officials by saying we are called to obey and be docile to the will of god than obeying the traditions and customs of the jewish people Jesus is indirectly telling them if you are not obeying the will of God you are not going far away from God himself and Jesus is also telling how far the Pharisees and the scribes are from God by saying this Jesus openly says about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and scribes and he says it is not the external activities that make one holy but rather our hearts when our hearts say are clean and pure and free from sin we can say that we are pure because most of us don't realize that it is in our hearts the sins bloom and so when our hearts are clean and pure the whole person can be made pure what does it make us unholy food that we intake may not make us unholy but our thoughts can our greed our jealousy our anger our envy all these things can make us or lead a man or a woman to an unholy man and woman jesus is trying to uplift the spiritual and moral sense of the people by saying or Through today's gospel passage Jesus is explaining the law of Moses regarding the holy and unholy food for a long time the jewish people considered laws very close to their hearts but all of a sudden Jesus is making a revolutionary statement by saying your hearts must be clean instead of the externals of the vessels our hearts must be clean there were a number of examples Well, Jesus gives to the listeners that he spoke what he meant. In the same gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 41, Jesus touches an unclean leper. In the same gospel, chapter 2, verse 15, Jesus dines with the sinners and tax collectors. In the same gospel, chapter 5, verse 35, on verse we see, Jesus does not condemn the lady with the hemorrhage who touches him. And again, In chapter 5 verse 41 Jesus touches even a dead body. So in today's gospel Jesus is very clear that it is not the outer parts that make one unholy but the inner part a heart must be clean. Meaning to say when our hearts are clean and pure we are clean and we are pure. We can compare our hearts to a stagnant water Stagnant water can produce a foul smell because the dirt has no way to go. Similarly, when our hearts are filled with sinfulness, 
just like we read in today's gospel chapter 7 verse 21 onwards that our hearts can defile the whole self and so once a while we must clean ourselves just like we clean the water how do we clean and purify ourselves it is by the sacrament of reconciliation so let us make it a point to go for the sacrament sacrament of reconciliation within a certain intervals of time may god bless you all have a nice and beautiful week amen Thank you.